a fight that's making a lot of noise. Mm -hmm. You know, William Merrill versus Isak Cruz. That's the co-main event. You know, this is actually a fight that I, I, I was thinking about back in um, 2020. Now, look, Hyro is giving us the perfect segue. He said, everyone was begging for a PBC announcement, and here it is. Roley's fighting the Mexican Mike Tyson. Now, interesting stuff. Before I get into more Roley, uh, Isak Cruz yeah. stuff, I actually interviewed Roley myself in 2021. And when I interviewed him, he was getting – uh. Isak Cruz was getting ready to fight Javante Davis. And when he was getting ready to fight Javante Davis, I asked uh, Roley about Isak Cruz's chances against Javante Davis. And here's what Roley said about Isak Cruz. Oh, Joe, too much longer. I know you want to go to the strip club. <laughs> but, um, Roley, I'm, I'm going to ask you this. So, what do you think about the Tank versus Isaac Cruz matchup? Tank's going to knock him out one round. One round? What do you see that makes you think that? Isaac Cruz is tailor made for fucking up with cut. Yeah. Okay. Any message to the boxing room before we end? So there you have it. He said Pitbull Cruz is tailor-made for uppercuts. Well, now, Roley, here's your chance. You get to prove if he's tailor-made for uppercuts. You got any, got any thoughts about what he said? Uh, no, I, I would just say one thing. He ain't no damn Mike Tyson. You don't, you don't think so? No, he's not so, so, close. Not nobody. He's not that as impressive. So, so, Pops, Pops, when people call Isak Cruz the Mexican Mike Tyson, I want you to really, from your heart, tell him from the heart, how do you feel about that? How does that make you feel as a boxing fan? That's some bullshit if you ask me because the bottom line is uh, he's got – but what the fuck has Isha Cruz done? Don't even put Mike Tyson's name in there. The motherfucker don't knock out nobody, knock out everybody cold like Tyson. Doesn't go in there or anything. He got a, uh, he came to America, got a big opportunity to God, be what he's God got. Bless him. Thank you for Tank. But other than that, I, I mean, he sells with the Mexicans and, and, and whoever else want to follow him. No they love him. But the reality is take that fucking name out of your mouth. He's not no Mike Tyson. <laughs> That's what I gotta say about that. And I'm right, and I don't care who says it. I, I heard some of the channels already saying that they, they think that uh Cruz will knock this guy out. Roly? Roly, I'm Ooh. I'm riding with fucking Roly. There you have it. Pops, 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 he's spirited. Fuck oh, I um, Cruz. And Hyro says, look, it took Cruz six knockdowns to stop Gamboa. Yeah, that was a broken horse. When, what, 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 two legs gone? Yeah, he, legs was, gone? He, was, he was shot to pieces. No disrespect to Gamboa. We love Gamboa, please. but but you know, please. he see he he definitely has seen some better days. Tyson. You know? So. <laughs> But look, man, there's so much surrounding this fight um, when it comes to uh, Roley and Isak Cruz. As far as me, what what, what I think about the think fight. You think that guy seems like a jackass now for all that well, shit? You know man? what? That's actually the better segue, right? Because Roley, look, Roley and Isak Cruz, just give my little thoughts on the actual fight. I uh -huh. think it'll be a good fight. I think, you know, Roley has a lot to prove based on his performance or lack thereof against Barroso. Um, he's mm -hmm. champion technically, but he's not looked at as such. I think in right. this fight, he, 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 he really needs to establish to the world that he is a champion. And you know, I think with Cruz being shorter than Roley, it's gonna be it's gonna present some stylistic, um, just some interesting things stylistically because Cruz likes to fight in the high guard and come forward. Mm -hmm. Roley is very unconventional, but, but he's physically strong. He you can already know you. what he's gonna do, right? Who? You already know he he told you his gameplay. What are you gonna do? He's telling for uppercuts. You know, he, as long as he comes up there, womp, <laughs> womp, and that's it. Good night, Mike Tyson. Want to be? That's what's gonna happen to him. Are we in the Roley era? Yeah, we're rolling, we're rolling. I'm not with Roly, man. Roly wants to read the books. I'm telling you, he's reading books. He's reading, reading books. He's a genius. I'm telling you, Roly's the one. He's gonna sell that fight because Cruz don't even talk. Like how, that. how do I wants to know? What's crazy is uh, if Cruz five four. How the hell is he one forty? I don't know, man. Eating uh, eating all that good food from, over, from his country. Yeah, he he says Cruz is a fake Mexican for ducking Shakur. He ducked everyone. He said he said he said Shakur. He's running. He's boring. I don't know what. He, I mean, this guy. I mean, guys, Enrique, I, Enrique says that Roley Romero will be do donating his belt to Cruz. It'll be night night. Well, what do you think? We're gonna have to see Enrique. I like you yeah. know, but I, I, I really, I, I just don't like the hype on Cruz. Honestly, I don't fucking like the hype. Well, look, look, they're making him sound like he, like he's this big guy, just well, like with Ryan got None of them had a fucking belt. Well, no, well, none well, of them shit. Well, so fuck both. La, of them. La, la, last thing about Cruz before we get into the Ryan Garcia talk. Ever since Cruz fought Tank, it's like no he, he had a he had a good performance against yeah. Tank, right? But he almost got treated like he won against Tank because because yeah. ever since that fight he fought shot the pieces Gamboa he fought um, Eduardo Ramirez who was a natural one thirty pounder can't even punch in his own weight class yeah. they moved up to thirty five you know he's been taking very very careful matchups because they knew that you know I always thought he was gonna fight Tank but now he's fighting Roley so this is still a big is, fight for the, him the thing is okay he's got I'm happy for Cruz I'm not I'm just a matter of fact that like. We don't need to, to get his demands and whatever he wants because he hasn't literally has not a fucking thing. He fought Tank once or twice or whatever the fuck he did. He fought a broke horse that was already dead before he got shot. 
So to me, I don't want to hear about that. Yeah, he sells to the Mexicans and this and that. But what does he have a belt? That's my question. Has does he has he had a legitimate belt? So same thing with Ryan Garcia. But Ryan Garcia is a different story. He's got this, he got that. But Cruz has no fucking way, and neither the Ryan because they don't have no, they really have no legit belt. So we ain't even got to Ryan yet. So you, I'm just you telling fired you straight up. up. You the hell up, pops. You fire the hell up. People that don't have no belts, they just feel they, what, what, what's the thing about, uh, uh, they feel like title, man. Title. The fuck you, title. You came to America, you got the opportunity. All right. All right. <laughs> See, I got him going. But shout out to Kyle. He says, I'm new here and I'm only messing with y'all channel. Y'all, yeah, man, look. Shout out to you, Kyle. Um, just on some background on the channel. And for anybody who's new here, look, this is the this is the home, this is the home of boxing on YouTube, man. True school sports, the untouchable true school sports empire. Yeah. We've been at I've been here for a little bit of time, so you're late to the party, but the better late than never, you know. Mm -hmm. Um, got a lot of interviews, man. Go check them out. I mean, you, you saw one of them live with Angelo Leo. Mm -hmm. Um Interview Riddick Bow, uh, interview Holyfield, interview a lot of guys, man. So definitely go go dig through the archives, go watch the content. There's a lot of yeah. content, a lot, lot, lot of good stuff. You're in the right place. Thank um, you. Thank you for being here. Hyro says, I want to see Cruz versus Subiama Matias, Mexico versus Puerto Rico. What do you think? I mean, <laughs> next question. Yeah, I'll tell oh, you the next. They don't even explain that for that one. Yeah, yeah, you're not even worthy to fight Matias. Damn. Please. Damn. Okay. Well, look. It's about to get it's about to get real, real hectic in here right now. Yeah. Because really, yeah, Ryan Garcia or um, Roley versus Cruz mm -hmm. is a good fight. Yeah. But the bigger story in all this is actually what didn't happen, which was supposed to be Ryan Garcia yeah. versus Roley. So Ryan Garcia exposed. Yeah. yeah let me ask again. You did, did, duck and Roley. Was De, De La Hoya and Garcia full of shit when they were talking about this fight? Because I was going to Instagram. They were saying that De La Oscar Hoya never said, Oscar, Oscar never said anything about this fight. Really. At all. Never. No. Uh, it was just no. I'm talking this about, is Ryan. This is yeah, Ryan. Rock, rock. Oh, just Ryan. Just, just, just Ryan. Yeah, just Ryan. We'll, okay. We'll, we'll get, okay. Patience. All right. Patience. Okay. <laughs> All right. Be yeah. patient. All right. Look, go on the screen share. Right. Yeah. Just to get into it. So look, there was a lot of back and forth. So Roly, first thing he said on Twitter today was, mm -hmm. Ryan always started with Garcia Romero when in reality it was Romero Garcia. Right. And he's he's actually quoting Ryan because um yeah. after Ryan ran with Floyd. Yeah. There was an interview where Ryan said Haney thought it was Haney Garcia. But it's really Garcia okay. and that's so, why he so he, he, he's quoting that like yeah. he's being petty. Yeah. That, 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 he's being petty, right? Mm -hmm. So there's that. And then he also told Ryan Garcia to go find a tequila bottle and some Xanax in April. <laughs> so there you go. So Roly, Roly, letting you know. Um, if you guys don't know, look, Ryan Garcia after he made he he got made to look like a complete fool because let me see where's the other tweet. Where's the tweet of him right over? Somebody said, yeah. look, 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 look. So right here. So. The, this is the original tweet, and uh -huh. I'll read it for you. The, the original tweet that Ryan has since deleted before any of this PBC oh, okay. on Amazon stuff came out. He said, Ryan Garcia said, April 20th, live on the zone box, pay per view tickets and locations soon. It's time to enter battle once again. I understand that there has been a lot of confusion, but this fight is happening. I'm happy to announce this. Everyone is going to post this soon. Don't worry. I love you guys. Comment on what you think. All right. So then he got made to look like a complete fool. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it is what it is. You know, Ryan Garcia continues to um, do his own. Yeah. You know, he he, he hurts himself. He hurts yeah, himself he more keep, than more than anything. Yeah. You know, but this is this is Ryan Garcia after the fact. Okay. After he got made look a fool, he said, okay, clear, right? clear. "Look, I was informed that the deal was finalizing and it would be announced in the coming days. Obviously, that was a lie. My patience has been tested the last two weeks. I'm trying my best to be as honest as I and real as I can to you guys." I'll be looking forward to announcing my next fight. I'm going to say, I'm not going to say anything until it's actually signed and delivered. I still look forward to putting on big pay per view for the zone boxing. Have a blessed day. So cool, cool. I actually like, you know, not yeah. that he was going to respond to me, but I, I left a little two cents. I told, nah. I told Ryan mm. quite simply, yeah. you wouldn't be in this position if you just followed the original plan, which was to fight Devin Haney. You keep listening to the wrong people and hurting yourself. Stop going for instant gratification and go for the glory and you'll be fine. Amen. That's just yeah. simple as that. Stop chasing clout. Just mm -hmm. go for the damn titles, and the clout will follow. Yep. You know, and it's as simple. It's as simple as that. Um, now, look. Also, and this is this is actually more of an underrated part mm -hmm. uh, about the whole situation yeah. with Ryan. So he don't got an opponent now. So he, he needs an opponent. Mm -hmm. And shout wow. out to Broadway Joel. He actually posted this. Mm -hmm. Go subscribe to him. Ryan Garcia uh, was called out by the boss man, Kenneth Sims Jr. Ooh. Because Kenneth Sims Jr. is the number two contender. I think Barroso is the interim champion. Ryan, Ryan, basically, Ryan Garcia and Kenneth Sims are the two highest contenders. Wow. And so to that, Kenneth Sims said, when the new rankings drop in the next week or two, we'll both be the two highest rated in the WBA. So let's fight, Ryan Garcia. The winner can get a title shot. Wow. So what, what, do, you, what, do, you, what do you think? When I, when I say 
Kenneth Sims Jr. versus Ryan Garcia. What do you what do you think about that fight? I'll tell you like this. Uh, Kenneth Sims Boss Jr. Man and Kenneth, and, uh, he's been Ryan. waiting for a long time to get that a fight. He's a real good fighter. Why not? Why not? Why not? Will will um Ryan take the fight? Take the fight. Um or, or what? I mean, because uh that's that's the, that's the question of the day. Can, is he gonna just stop talking and just do this action, do this talking, and just go ahead and take the fight? Yep. That's actually a good fight because I'm gonna tell you right now, Sims been waiting for a long time to get that opportunity. And I almost feel that whether it's Ryan or whoever else next, Ross or whoever kids, he gonna he gonna, he, gonna, he gonna make some noise. His time is coming. Yeah, and 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 look, Kenneth, and that's not hating Ryan Kenneth Sims, saying, I think like, look, Kenneth Sims for, for in my humble opinion, um uh, obviously, you know, I, I would say Tank is the best fighter Ryan's fought, but yeah. outside of Tank, the best fighter on Ryan's resume would be a guy like Kenneth Sims Jr. if he were to fight him because you know, Ken, Ken, Kenneth Sims hasn't won a world title, yeah. but this guy is a legitimate fighter. When Elvis Rodriguez was a big name in, you know, prospect wise in boxing, yeah. he popped that balloon real quick to the point where top rank cut cut every Elvis right after that fight. Oh yeah, yeah. So so um, you know, Kenneth oh, he was Sims. Oh, gonna beat him? Yeah. Oh shit! That's why I put him on the map. Does that fight? No more guitar playing. No more. No more of this. <laughs> no more of that. You know. Yeah. So so Kenneth Sims, you know, yeah. a good skilled boxer. Well rounded, knows his way around that boxing ring. That that that's the kind of test that Ryan. Do you feel he's like underrated though? Like you don't hear much about him. Like you should. Well, it, it's you know he's talented. You know he's, he's kind of in a stuff. So we just had you know Angelo. Angelo was on the live an hour with me because he knows me. We're cool, right? right? Not like that all the time. Not like that most people. Right. Oh wow. Okay. Yeah, he's taking comfort. Okay. okay. Yeah. Okay. But Angelo and Kenneth are very similar in the sense that they're both very talented, and they don't really do a lot of talking. They're they're reserved guys. Right. They're calm. They're not. They're not rah rah. You know, you're not gonna see Kenneth Sims. I mean, he's respectfully calling out Ryan, yeah. but you're not gonna see Kenneth Sims and or and or like an Angel Leo mm -hmm. call calling a guy out and saying, "Yeah, you know, you you don't want you don't want to fight me. You don't want like you're yeah, not gonna yeah, see yeah. that from yeah. them." So, so um, that sometimes I mean, I think in this day and age with social media, yeah, sometimes you know, uh, like the old saying, "Out of sight, out of mind." Sometimes because he's so reserved. But because he's so reserved and because he's so quiet, he gets lost you, in the fold. Well, quiet guys, you gotta listen when they talk. Like even in your live interview, I was sitting here, he was on here the whole thing. Um, I guess he was talking about uh Pierce and he said, I'll take his shit too. No, no, but well, I, did, you, did you actually get what he said? No, I didn't hear I, so, I, I so look, so what look, I'm so saying look, the way so look, he, he said so Angelo in that in that instance, he said Elijah Pierce took um mm -hmm. who he, I forgot who he said. Yeah, he said, Oh yeah, he took he took this guy's oh no no. He said I took Tremaine because um they have common opponents, right? And he made the point that you know, Pierce was saying that, oh, um, Angelo's fought my left doors, but Pierce fought Williams after Angelo already fought him. Right. So what he talking so about. So what's he talking about? Yeah. And so he was saying that I took I took Tremaine Williams' O mm -hmm. and I had no problem taking Elijah Pierce's too, because yeah. Elijah Pierce that's has two saying. losses. But that's what I'm that's saying. That's He's a quiet guy, but, but when they talk, they're gonna make a point. It seems the same way. It's the same way. Very, very direct. So look, it, um as far as Sims, I would love to see Sims get the fight. I think Ken, I think I think I think that's actually the kind of opponent that Ryan mm -hmm. needs to be fighting is, is, is Kenneth Sims Jr. Someone who, who who knows way around the ring, who's high level, Experience. who has a chance yeah. on his best night or to, to beat a guy like Ryan Garcia. So um look, Ryan, think, Ryan, yeah. Ryan, Ryan, look, all these all these big names that you guys want to see Ryan fight, they ain't happening. So get them out your head. Yeah, they're like, not happening. Do you think Ryan has that that that, that like he's too good to fight fighters like he him? might? He might. Are you serious? I mean, Floyd just got him this year. He might, he might say, Oh, yeah, somebody was saying uh I was thinking, uh, this is good that Rob Floyd set him up for the hokey that was all this crazy to put on the shit. Yeah, head. that's crazy. Yeah. You don't trust nobody. Floyd, Floyd was like, Yeah, man, yeah, Ryan's a hell of a fighter. You know, this guy's a star. Because <laughs> <laughs> Ryan, cause Ryan oh, keeps li Ryan, Ryan keeps listening to the wrong people. The motherfuckers he has, the actually employed, yeah. Bernard Hopkins and uh, Oscar to guide your career. You don't want to listen to them. But the lawyer and then Floyd, and we, we, know, we don't employ. Yeah, you want to listen to them. So that that's his that's his cross to bear. That's yeah, his. Yeah. That's God his bless him. We'll pray for we him. pray for him. Hopefully he's oh, correct. Wow. You know, get on track. But I'd like to see him and Kenneth so Sims Jr. You, you think his ego won't allow him to fight? I don't know. We'll see. We'll yeah. see how it goes. But look, yeah. Oscar De La Hoya, he came out following all this stuff. And, yeah, and, and, and he said, "Look, he said, and I quote: We have April twentieth. That's our date. I'm gonna announce something really, really big when it gets signed. You never know." Maybe he moves up to 147. Who knows? So look, I'm gonna tell you like this. The minute I read this quote mm -hmm, you think about. and I saw it in my head, yeah. There's no way Ryan Garcia is moving up to 147 unless he's fighting Adrian Broner. That's what I think. Yeah. And I'm gonna tell you guys why I think that. Because Adrian Broner just got ranked in the WBC like a, oh, you were about, me about, that. about a month ago. He, he gets quietly popped at the 15. A couple nights ago, I go by to check the rankings and he he is mad. He's at 12. <laughs> That's that magic. That's, that's just, that magic, that's right? Just natty shit. So look, look, Ryan yeah. Garcia. One thing we know about Ryan Garcia, if, if, if past history tells us anything, 
Ryan Garcia loves clout. He loves fame mm -hmm. and he loves attention and he loves validation, right? He will get a lot of attention with Broner. With Broner, because Broner generates attention right, anywhere right. he goes. Just even when he's not fighting, he's in yeah. public. You know, I saw him at the convention. You know, I'm not gonna. You were right there with the I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna tell no stories no. on here because you know that those are it's private. Personal, those are yeah. private personal stories. Yeah. But Adrian Broner is like the way he is in on, on camera. He's how, what you see, what you get. That's yeah. him. That's him. AB he's is real. himself. All he's real, yeah. right? So. I, I know it sounds crazy, but we've seen crazy things in the boxing. I actually think if he's going to go on 47 like Oscar's hinting at, he's going to fight Adrian Brown. That's my opinion. Yeah. What do you think? But when you were talk, uh, when you were talk, talking to him that the one time, didn't he say he had a best friend that he would fight or something? I forgot who you guys question. You question about some fighter. They, they get along real good. You say Adrian Bernard. Oh, Adrian yeah, 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 yeah. So you see, you see that happening. You see, Brona. I mean, look. The thing is, it, uh, so Thurman, Keith Thurman's not fighting Tim Zhu for the title because the WBO can't justify it. He's not in the rankings, right? And he hasn't fought in two years, right? But with Brona, you can justify it because right. he fought, he's fought within the last year right. and, he's, and he's ranked, right? So even if I think it's bullshit, and you think it's bullshit, he's ranked. They could justify how, a Ryan Garcia, Adrian Brona how fight. How does Shaky Boy just like I don't know where just just rank somebody quietly? Nobody don't pay attention. Thank God we got. Thank somebody God, to do. yeah. You know, we got. Nerds like myself yeah. who who, who he watch. He said he will fight you. He said he fight me. So hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right now, box is a free throw. You don't know what the hell is gonna happen. Yeah. You know. So, so you think that? Do you think so? You do you think you really knock out uh Broner if they fought hypothetically? Do I think he would knock out Broner if they fought. I mean, I I can't believe I'm saying this. I think if they fought, it'd be a competitive fight. Yeah. I I no, I'm serious. No, no. Yeah. I'm I'm gonna tell you why I think it'd be a competitive uh -huh. fight. Uh -huh. Ryan Garcia's defense ain't all that great. Right. That's number one. We know that. Yeah. Um, he doesn't listen to his, his coach at all. He's, yeah. he's got his heart. He's a little hard. They don't listen to his coaches. So that, that's already not good. Mm -hmm. And I think that whatever Broner physically has left to give to this sport, that's the kind of event. Because he's kind of like Ryan. In he's going to get up for that fight. He'll be up for that fight. Yeah. And, and he'll sell a fight. They both and will sell a fight. And if I would do numbers. So, but look, if, if Oscar's hands got to move to 147, as he is, the only opponent that pops into my head. That I think they would actually try to make the fight because it'd be a huge event would be him and Broner. So yeah. At, about, that, 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 At 47. Yeah, that the one Cause he ain't gonna go up there, like he's not gonna fight boots. Yeah, he's not gonna fight. That's not happening. Yeah, like, Golden Boy's not stupid, no. they're not gonna do that, you know. So okay, you know. So food for thought. By the way, I want to ask you because uh, me me and Angelo alluded to it in the interview briefly. It was a joke, but mm -hmm. have you seen the interview where Bill Haney was going around uh he was going around Las Vegas after a fight. He was going up to the Mexican fans, and he said he was asking the Mexican fans, "Is Ryan La Raza?" And they said, "No, he's not no, La Raza." No, I see that. So, so, oh, so why, it's a big thing going on now. That's Johnny. Johnny yeah, has, yeah. So it's, it's a big oh, thing now because no. Bill Haney's saying Ryan Garcia, he's not La Raza. He's like, he's like, he's like, those aren't his people. These are my people because we turned pro in Mexico. These are my people. <laughs> okay, then they're not. <laughs> but no, there's this tweet here. Yeah. This guy said, uh, "El Mayor, Bill Haney told you Ryan Garcia wasn't La Raza, and he was proven right." You let PBC and your shit lawyer play like a cheap hoe, and now you look stupid. And that, and that, and look, Holy shit. look those are my words. Oh, those are my words. This is uh, at the only Satch on, on Twitter, okay? Holy crap. All right? The, it's, those are his words. Yeah. He said it best. He said it best. Yeah. He got played wow. because he doesn't want to listen to the people he's supposed to listen to. And I, and I can't, I I'm can't say that enough. Awesome. Just don't get rid of him. Like, dude, you've been a problem the whole time. So I mean, money, 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 yeah, money, yeah. Will, money will do a lot of things for mm -hmm. for uh, somebody. You know, money solves a lot of problems. Yeah. But let me see. We got, I'm sure you got some comments. I want to acknowledge the comments. My man, Mexican sure. Boxing says, "Uh, this is a trash pay per view card." He says, "Keith is gonna get killed by Tim and Law versus Rafa. Nobody knows them." What are you talking about? Everybody knows Law because Law, he fought Canelo. Mm -hmm. he just the rest are fine, but two others are bad. Well, I would just say that the, the card's decent. Mm -hmm. Um, but it's not pay. It's not to me. It's not pay pay per view worthy. No way. Now, if Tim Zoo was fighting a big, uh, 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 I know Derm is a name, but uh, 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 a better level set fighter that's been actively fighting, which I don't know who that might be at one fifty four uh, at this time. The Thurman. Uh, yeah. Besides Thurman, that's what I'm saying. The only reason they put him up there, and I'll say, like you said, is because I think it's more not it's a cash out fight, but it's, and, and, and it sells because of his name and this and that. So. But I'm, I'm agreeing with I'm saying I'm agreeing with the guy saying what he's saying it's not worth I mean it's not worth it's not pay worthy. No. We have pro box came out and said they're not it's not pay uh, yeah. worthy. Yeah, my man Kyle wants to know. Hey, the question is when is the fake Mexican people? If is when the fake, fake, fake Mexican people wins the WBA, will, will he vacate here actually stay at 140 and duck the monsters there as well? Ooh, good, good answer. Yeah, you asking the you asking the right question. Yeah. Partner, um, look, if he wins the WBA title, he'll be right in line to fight Ismael Barroso. 
he ain't gonna fight no damn Ismael Barroso. Yeah, yeah, really get clobbered. <laughs> you think the Mexican hit? This guy's got what a sweat. That dude hit you. Yo, Barroso hit you with the pain of communism at yeah. every point. The crazy part, when you look at Barroso, you look at him like a poor, weak, like you look at him, you didn't know he could pop like that. But we seen that from um, from, uh, um Roly. No, not Roly. Ken Shield the other night, skinny, sat there. I, I was saying, what do you got that power to knock this big guy? Technique. Himself? Yeah, technique. So, I mean, I, I like to see uh, Barasu just clock this guy, just clock him once. And I, I shouldn't hate the guy because he, he's got an opportunity. I just don't – I think he's, he commands too much. Like, he, like he's done more for, for – Bar- like he's a champion. You cannot run your mouth if you haven't had a belt like that. You, you still – to me, you're still the, the B side. You're not even the A side because you have nothing – a true belt to, to, to carry you on to where you got to get carried to. Okay. So there you have it, you know. Pop, Pop's giving you all the right pertinent answers, right? So, look, good, good fight um, with Roley and 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 whatnot. Ryan, mm-hmm. Ryan, Ryan Garcia, 